Hello everyone, welcome back. This is KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts, and I owe you this video explaining why I failed to mention one feature that has come into my email 22 times after the first hour of my recent upload. The new Yesu FTM 300D, right? Just made a video on this, a nice Yesu radio here that is, uh, you know, analog and digital C4 FM, VHF, UHF with a wide band coverage receive, and a lot of other features you could check out that video. But with the people that said, Eric, you failed miserably. Eric, how could you? Eric, why don't you read the book? Well, I did not see clearly the crossband repeat functionality. What is crossband repeat? Okay. Crossband repeat means I have two independent receivers here on this radio, and there must be a built-in duplexer inside. So what's happening is if a signal is received on the VFOA, we'll call it VFOA, if it's received on this top VFO, it's going to retransmit on the bottom VFO and vice versa. Why would I use that? Well, let's say I want to sit in my room with an HT at 1 watt. And I want to talk on my 13 element Chris Craft facing north 50 miles. Well, instead of me sitting tied with the antenna to my handheld, I can sit on my couch and have a beer. And the way I do that is to be transmitting in on, let's say, a UHF frequency. And it's going to cross band through the diplexer or through the radio. And the diplexer or duplexer is involved in that to give you VHF and UHF on one SO239 antenna output simultaneously, uh, you're going to transmit in, say, on UHF, and it comes out VHF. And as they talk VHF, it's going back into radio, cross-banding to UHF, and returning on your handheld, on your lazy boy, on UHF frequency that is set in the radio while you have your beer. Let me demonstrate here. I'm going to set this bottom VFO to, for the demonstration purposes only, 439.125, okay? And I'm going to set the top frequency to 146.500. Okay, now I'm going to set my Anytone DMR and analog radio here on the bottom here to 439.125 megahertz on analog. And that's on low power. And I'm going to set my ASU FT2D to 146, 500. Both are in FM. Okay, and what's gonna happen is I'm going to transmit in on the Anytone here. It's going to cross band to, I'm gonna transmit in on UHF it's going to cross mode or cross band to VHF over here. And I just threw it out. Cross mode, will it happen? No. I'm going to tell you no why. Because I just tried it. And I, again, I don't know if VHC really intended this to be a big feature. Maybe they didn't want to answer support on that. And I get that. Maybe they didn't really, you know, perfect that function. Maybe it's in the manual and I'm totally wrong. But a little bit of reading online and I did find information. So. What's going to happen is VHF analog, UHF analog. When I put it to two different VHF analog or VHF digital and UHF analog, it works one way. It works from the C4 FM or the analog to the, uh, let's see, the analog, no, the C4 FM to analog, but not vice versa. And I'm not sure, I'm not playing with any more settings because I don't want to really delve into it. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. You ready? I had the two frequencies set. They're both in analog. Okay, I could set the top one to digital like that, right? Or I could set it to voice wide or whatever, uh, or, you know, DN or digital, whatever. Okay, we're going to turn this off. I'm going to hold three buttons. That's group monitor, function, display, and then I'm going to push the power button. You ready? And watch what happens on the screen at the bottom. One, two, three. X repeater, you see that? X repeater, cross repeater. Now, it isn't cross band repeat. So my guess is that there is, what did I just do here? Okay, one, two, five. 
My guess is that it's probably going to take away wires X functionality when you do that. All right, can't push that. Group monitor doesn't work. Okay. GPS doesn't work. It's strictly a crossband repeater. Menu doesn't even work. Function doesn't even work. VFOA, VFOB. It's locked into crossband repeat. Now, again, if you're going to use this for crossband repeat, that's a great concept. Are you going to try to crossband repeat with a Wires X radio and try to send pictures in the meantime? Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Here we go. I'm going to transmit on UHF, and you're going to watch with my handheld here. VHF is going to retransmit on my ASU. You ready? KJ4 YZI testing. Okay. You can see I key up on UHF. Ready? KJ4 YZI testing crossband repeat. So first it comes in on UHF, retransmits on VHF to my Yesu. Let's do it the other way. VHF to UHF. KJ4 YZI testing crossband. Okay. KJ4 YZI testing. Now what you're hearing is both VFLs. Let's turn it down. KJ4 YZI testing one two three four five. Okay. That's what's happening. Crossband repeat. How do you get it out of crossband repeat, Eric? My radio is nothing more than a crossband repeat. Nothing's working. Why? Well, because it's crossband repeating. Let's take it out. Hold the power button. Turn it off. Hold three buttons. Which buttons are they? Group monitor. Function, display, and power. No more X repeater there, right? No more cross man repeat. Watch. KJ4 YZI testing. Okay. That's down. Hello, YouTube. KJ4, KJ4 YZI testing. All right. Just a regular back to analog, but wires X works, digital nodes work. Function works, all that works. So that is your lesson. I owe it to you that uh, per one email that said I failed miserably and should be embarrassed. I appreciate your appreciate your satisfaction watching. Seven three guys, KJ four YZI.